Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy. In today's lesson, we're doing a blues rhythm workout. Now this lesson can be used no matter whether you're completely new to improvising or you're a fairly advanced improviser and you want to improve your phrasing. The idea behind this exercise is we're gonna be taking rhythms and turning them into phrases. For example, here's a two measure rhythm. And here's an improvised phrase using that rhythm. When you're improvising, you really wanna sing the rhythms in your mind as you're playing. And this is gonna give your phrases so much more definition. Now we're doing this over a 12 bar blues in the concert key of C, which is a blues in A for alto sax and a blues in D for tenor sax. If you're brand new to improvising, then you can just take what's often called the blues scale or the fuller name is the minor blues scale, which is these set of notes here. And you can use these notes to build your phrases. Now to start off with, you can just listen to the rhythm and copy it back playing one note and then you can try mixing up with two notes of the scale. And as you get more comfortable with the scale, you can use any number of notes you like and play phrases like this. First of all, you're gonna hear a rhythm play to you. Then I'm gonna play an example phrase using that rhythm. Then you'll hear the same rhythm again, and then it'll be your turn to play a phrase. And then we move on to a new rhythm, I give you an example phrase, you hear that new rhythm again, and then it's your turn. Now you can get a free PDF of all of the phrases I play today, both for alto sax and tenor sax. And the link to that is down below. And premium members will be able to download the performance track and the backing track of this exercise as well. Now what you want to hold in your mind is the rhythm is the priority in this exercise. So don't sacrifice the rhythm for trying to cram in more notes. So keep it really simple and precise note-wise, first of all, to give yourself the kind of mental space to really focus on playing that rhythm accurately. Then as you repeat this exercise and get more and more comfortable with it, you can start to experiment with different phrases and notes. Now, if you're more of an advanced improviser, don't feel like you have to stick to just the minor blues scale. You can try improvising using chord tones, scale tones, chromatic passing notes, whatever you happen to be working on as well, but you're just gonna be using these rhythms as the template for your phrases. Now we're playing through this track at around 160 BPM, which is a fairly medium up speed. So if that's too fast for you at first, feel free to use YouTube's playback speed settings and you can set it to 0.75 or even 0.5. You can also look at the example phrases as I'm playing and at first if you want to you can just copy those when it's time to play your phrase but also you can have a look at those phrases and take inspiration from them and use this kind of notes I'm using to create your own phrases as well but remember above all else rhythm is the priority all right so let's give this exercise a go
Now remember you can get the free PDF of this full workout all written out so you can see exactly what's happening and you can write notes on the page to yourself and really have a look at the example phrases and learn from those. And over at Online Sax Academy do check out the courses page where you can see everything that's on offer for premium members. For example we've got the Learn to Improvise course which steps you through right from the very beginning and I'm also building out a Mastering Rhythm course which will give you so much more confidence in your playing and understanding of rhythms. All of these lessons are exclusive to the site and as a premium member you'll have access to all of them. Big thanks to Jamie Horowitz for helping me out on the guitar with this one. If you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons and I'll see you guys next week.